Yo! <laughs> Hi! What's up people? Uh, so this is uh, well I'm Jonah, maybe, maybe you already know this, and uh, this is Zoe. And um, we actually already talked like a little bit on Instagram, but then I, a couple of days ago I had to shoot in a club and uh, she works there, so that's cool. And now we're gonna shoot something here, and as usual it's kind of like not super, super well prepared, but that's cool because then you see that you can, I don't know, do some like little different things with not much materials. So the idea is to uh, do like a Valentine, I know it's almost Valentine's Day, uh, so we're gonna do like a Valentine's Day shoot. But although the roses, actually, I had to get a black rose, but um, yeah, I just started looking today and they didn't have black roses. So the vibe will be kind of like, uh, you know, so it's like, Dark fuck guys, fuck guys, <laughs> fuck Valentine, I don't need a guy. <laughs> uh, so she, yeah, it's gonna be like kind of a darker uh, attitude vibe towards Valentine. So yeah, that's what we're gonna try to make. Alright, so I gave it <laughs> All right, so I gave Zoe the assignment to uh, write her <laughs> <laughs> Write some uh, thoughts like her red lipstick on the wall. I mean, on the on the on the mirror. And it's a bit in the edgy fuck Valentine's Day team. So uh, yeah, we're gonna let her finish a masterpiece, and then we'll, we'll see how the mirror looks. <laughs> Before we were shooting with like the 24mm, it was like kind of cool, 
but I was missing something, I was like missing my usual energy vibe. Um, but now, it's back. two or three questions so uh, let me check for the first one so yeah this is one of the questions that I get asked like 99% of the questions are this question and it's how to find models now to be honest one of the things that I would recommend people actually doing is not starting with shooting boudoir like you don't want to put somebody in lingerie somewhere and be like fumbling around with your camera if you can't even take a decent picture so start just by shooting some pictures of friends, just like some normal portraits or some urban style pictures. Whatever your thing is, just learn your basic photography skills first and then after you've kind of mastered this, then maybe you can go start looking for people to shoot some boudoir style pictures with. So yeah, as I already said, kind of the easiest thing to do is just to shoot with your friends. You probably always have like a good looking friends that uh, likes to have some pictures of him or herself so you can just ask them that's most of the time what I do, I kind of shoot often with people that I just kind of know from from some club because I do like a lot of like nightlife photography so maybe I meet some people in the club or just some friends in general now if you want to start shooting with other people of course one of the best things to do is just to Instagram DM people what I quickly want to say about that is like well, if it's like for lingerie or boudoir, it's probably best if you look at the person's profile and you see that they've already done this. Like, for example, if it's a girl and she takes pictures of her coffee uh, and some pictures in a sunflower field with like a straw hat, that's maybe not the person that's interested in taking some boudoir pictures. So if you see that they've already done this, then the chances are higher that you will get like a positive response. So what I mostly do is I just kind of shoot a text and I just say that I like the person's style and I ask them if they want to shoot. Oftentimes I already tell them what my idea of the shoot is so that way they can already kind of know if they're interested or not. So yeah that's actually it. I've never found it like very difficult to find models. As I said you just shoot with people that you just kind of randomly meet or if you don't have these people you just text some people on Instagram. Shop. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably people that already shot some pictures in the style that you want to take. Uh, that way you already know that they're comfortable with it and you don't have to ask them. The vibe of your pics is different but it's pretty awesome. Alright, all right, so this is not really a question but I kind of like it because actually it is kind of a question. Like for me in my head the question is what makes your pictures different and actually like when I started photography and I knew the basics that I said I kind of was in, intrigued by boudoir or some lingerie uh, photo shoots but I didn't really want to do like the typical thing you know like the girl on a bed uh, with like the nice stockings and everything that's not really my type of uh, boudoir shoots so I was thinking how can I make it a bit different a bit unique a bit like more me so what do I like I like rock and roll and edgy stuff so 
So that's why most of the time the people wear like leather jackets, sunglasses and I also shoot way different than the typical boudoir photographers who more like shoot with natural light or like dreamy images. I kind of prefer to give it like a harsh look by using a flash. So yeah, that's actually how I kind of came up with this type of style. It's like I wanted to do something with lingerie but I didn't want it to be the main focus. I wanted to actually have more like a rock and roll edgy style focus with a hint of like lingerie and sexiness to actually give it even more kind of like a rock and roll edgy vibe. Yo, Ari, no fucking way. Oh shit, mom. Oh shit. Woo! Sorry guys, I got like super excited because like uh, a nightclub in Los Angeles that I DM'd. As I, as I told you guys, just DM people like People read it, managers read it, so you can go actually like a long way sometimes by just DMing. Uh, anyways, that's another topic. Why did you start making YouTube videos? Um, actually, I learned everything that I know about photography slash videography on YouTube. It's an awesome school because you can like look yourself for the information that you need. Uh, the more like typical traditional schools, they teach you what they want you to know and I mean there's something wrong with it but I kind of like looking specifically for the things that I want to learn myself and I'm just like browsing YouTube for hours uh, especially in the beginning but even now I still want to keep learning and learning and getting better and yeah it's like so awesome because it's free all the information is free you can do it whenever you want you can do it at night you can do it in the morning there's like no fixed hours to do it, so you can learn as much as you want, as fast as you want. That's why I think it's just like an awesome platform actually. And I just kind of always like this, that's why I make some photography tutorials as well. Uh, because I really like the idea that maybe I am now able to learn some people something about photography or just like inspire them to pick up their camera and go shoot some things. That's kind of, maybe that's kind of what I like about this vlog thing. It's like maybe you're bored or you're just kind of like uninspired and you see this and you just feel like, you know what, today I'm going to pick up my camera, I'm going to create something and yeah, you just have like an awesome day doing that. And that's what I kind of hope to do, like uh, give you guys some inspiration or just, you know, warm you up to go do something, to go shoot something, uh, whatever you guys like to shoot. So yeah, go out and create something. What's up with the rings? <laughs> okay, yeah, so maybe in some other videos you already saw that we wear these rings. Uh, that's actually a company that JC and me started. It's like, a, they're all silver, silver rings. So we wanted to have like a high quality, something that doesn't like break easily or is like a crappy quality. Now why did we start like a silver ring jewelry brand? We both like it, we both like jewelry, but for some reason it was always kind of hard to find like rings that we really enjoyed ourselves and wanted to wear and that's why we just kind of decided to do it ourselves. So yeah, we just plunged in actually, like uh, made our collection and we wear them ourselves obviously. So that's, that's what's up with the rings. It's a company that JC and me created because we want to have like some awesome silver rings ourselves and we hope to actually expand and have like maybe necklaces, bracelets, all that in the future. So it actually becomes more like a complete man's uh, accessories brand. Because you know, it's sometimes just about that little extra touch on your outfit to give you, you know, like that edgy look you're looking for, that little bit of a rock and roll touch or whatever you're looking for in your uh, outfits. So that's why we created it and yeah, we love it, we love it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed these behind the scenes of this photo shoot and the questions that I answered. You can always send me whatever question you have, jonah.him. Don't forget to like and subscribe because actually liking the video is just like a small thing to do for you guys, but it really helps the video reach more people. Uh, as you can see, we, JC and me, we're very passionate about this and we really want to put more time in making videos so it helps us out and it encourages us to do more and I hope it inspired you to maybe go shoot something today, tonight, tomorrow, this week, whatever. Just go and uh, create something yourself and see you in the next one.